Welcome back to part four of the first fix rewire. Now today we are wiring, so if you did watch the last episode, you knew what part we're in. So we got Curtis with me today, and he's just the the um the, the get the cables in. So yeah, now we're just gonna try smash it all out today now and get the first fix done, and then on to the second fix, which we'll see in a probably a month or so when they're ready. That could be like another year, let's be honest. But we'll see. Let's crack on. Why is that going to happen? What is a snake? Ow, ow, my heat. Just some radio circuit, so we're getting clips on there. I look lovely. Again, if you did watch the last episode, you would see that we showed the super rod cable reel, and this is it in full swing now. We got uh, three drums on there, so we got the 6 mil, the 1.5, and the 2.5. I probably got to add the three core rod as well. This is how handy it is. You can just reel off any cable at any time. I could, can you hear me? Big rock in the way, like, yeah, that's it. So just take our back to the board for now. Ah, oh, he's dropped it. There's knee pad downstairs. I know what your knees are like. You, if you're passing me now, oh, where are you? Oh, you, no, there's a hole by your luck, right by where I was doing it. So while Kurt's bashing, <laughs> so while Kurt's bashing away upstairs, I am just getting all the interlink cables in between this ring for the kitchen, and this is where the grid switching is going here. So I got to do like the fridge, you no know, dishwasher, fridge, traction fan, and uh, gas igniter down here. So yeah, just do that while he's making a mess up here. Give our good old tug in, but not too much delicacy. They were gonna run out of 2.5 today, I should have probably picked up another drum. Get in there! It's always that you always get that point where you're like, you need the rods, but you can't bother get out the van. You know you can get it, you don't want to waste the time, but I am wasting time. Alright, ready? It's coming in now. Fish on arm about. Oh my god. Yeah, hang on it. Hang on. Any tools a hammer. To keep the plaster at me, what we will do with all our sockets. Keep the plaster happy, hopefully he keeps the boxes nice, but we'll see. Right, so what we're getting in now is just for the outside socket, and I am going to put on it its own circuit, just its own radial circuit, so again, they got power out there for the future for the garden, so I don't really want to tap off the kitchen ring for it. So yeah, it's just a separate 2.5 straight from the board, and then try to whisk, well, outside socket if they want light, whatever they can. Right, so it's always good practice when going into the holes, what we're doing, it will be bending the cables, so as they come around, so it stops the cable um, being squished against the joist, and they can all come in straight, it just looks a lot better and it's a lot tidier. Right, so this is, if you've watched the last episode, you would have seen where I was talking about pulling the cables gently. You don't want to be yanking them through, because what you'll do is just rip all the sheathing off the cables and burn the cables out on the sheathing. So we'll just take your time, like we're doing, just taking it through each hole and like he's feeding it to me there. So yeah, we're just not yanking it and we're not damaging any of the cable. Right, so this is what I was just talking about in the other rooms, better example. It's just like we're bending them all up, so they come out all nice and straight. And they bend over, I'll get some clips on there, and then yeah, they're still free and they're not like too stressed or anything like that. So get some clips on there that look lovely. This is one of the fun bits about domestic, I will say. I don't mind wiring. All the worst bits are done now, so it's all it's all up from you now on this rewire. Set of fixing is obviously the best until you think, oh I forgot a cable. Why is that gone tight? Why is that gone so tight? What's going on? <sighs> <laughs> right, so all we're doing now is just getting all the kitchen sorted, wired, so we're getting all these, these bits and bobs all in the cap in, pull all the all-round band back, and then that's kitchen done, and we concentrate on uh, the sockets for the living room and everywhere else, which will be a radial, so it should be nice and easy. Get these in, and then happy days. So this is the prime example why I hate domestic. Cobweb infested ceilings, or little voids. Probably big bruises about somewhere. Um, yeah, we've got quite a few cables to get in here, so we're just powering through it. I've lost rock, paper, scissors, so that's why I'm stuck up here. Up here. But um, yeah, we're cracking on, and the day reach just gone up, so it is what it is. Right, I'm gonna get to the, that outside light, but I don't know where it is. It's right behind you. There's two cables going down it already. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a snake! I need to turn around somehow. Ow, ow, my knees. No wonder why my knees are hurting lately. Ah. Yeah, and we need to get a socket cable in here as well. Yeah, but you're gonna have to pass that through that same thing. 
Yeah, and obviously, may as well pass the 2.5 through the end of the line. Do you hear me? That's just going a nightmare now. <laughs> right, I haven't got much else for you because we've had a bit of a manic last few hours just trying to smash a load out. We've managed to get downstairs all wired. I'm just going to spend another half hour now getting all the capping on and doing the finishing touches and then I'm going to have to finish upstairs another day. Upstairs shouldn't take too long as long as the attic's clear, which I haven't checked. So that's all depending on that. But yeah, I'm going to leave you to it. If you did like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.